Peter, HP installation here at Printing Portal. What value do Matsura add to installations such as this? Well, I think our strength is supporting the customers and making sure they get the investment out of what they're doing. And we work with them to make sure that's possible. Now, it's not just the, the hardware, is it? When, you, when someone's investing in this technology, it's kind of a, a learning curve, getting to grips with this machinery. And you need good support. Is that what Matsura are specialists at? There's not so much a learning curve. I've got to say they really are easy printers to run. Um, sometimes they just need those tips and tricks from somebody that's ran the printers. And we've ran all the printers now for a couple of years. So we find we're sort of best place to really help them and really make sure they're running, maintaining the printers right. And if they do that, they really are easy printers to run. And what would go into an installation like you've got here? What, you know, how much time does Matsura invest in, in their customers here, like you're here today, just to walk them through different aspects of the machines and things they can achieve from them? Is that, is that normal? Uh, it hasn't been the normal for the UK. It's not the way that HP have wanted to do it in the past. But I think it's for us at Matsura, it's the normal way we would do it. So we assist in the installations, uh, make sure everything goes smoothly. And most importantly, we give that transition between, you know, the customer and the HP. And also make sure on, you know, the experience that we've got of what quality is ex expected from the printers, that we can make sure during that week of installation that they get that from the word go. And also that they've got that extra knowledge they need to really, you know, up and running from day one. Um, there's a lot of work pre-order that goes in from yourselves as well, isn't it? It's quite often I've heard from cases like this where you've actually proved that you can make parts faster, make parts better than current processes. You do a lot behind the scenes to, to reassure the customer before they give you that order, or you can do. Yeah, there's a whole reason why we've got the additive manufacturing facility now at Colville, because, yes, yeah, sometimes it can be a few weeks, but it's quite easily sometimes six months to a year you could be working with a client to, uh, to make sure they've got the quality they want out of the product. There's a lot of scepticism about you know, HP being a relatively new player to the market, but there's also a reason why now you know, there's a very big percentage of customers taking on HP. So yes, we have to make sure that customer is convinced. And you can't do it by just making a few samples out in Barcelona. You know, so we work with the customers and we'll do anything up to a full build just to give them that happy feeling that when they buy the printer, you know, everything is basically exposed for all the pitfalls, all the benefits the technology can bring them. And why are they getting such a footprint now in the UK? I know it's a lot of, the, of work that you've been doing, but the, the, the machines speak for themselves as well, don't they? I mean, some of the aspects of now prototype into production that we've learned today, and there's lots of, lots of things happening with these machines that really do take them uh, to the next level. It is. I think... With the 4200 being on the market now for about three years, they've got a very mature product that's got a very, very good backbone of end users in the UK. And with the 5200 coming along with a slightly more production bias printer, the 580, 540 for the small colour components means we've got a very good portfolio of printers. But I think the key now is having that facility. People don't want to buy a printer and just simply get a few samples made and make that sort of investment. They really need walking through the whole process. The post-processing is just as important as the printer. So you really need to know what you want as that final product, and we can show you through that whole process. And when you look around here, what an example this is as a showcase for you. have got the printer, you've got the post-processing station, you've got the dimension finishing cell. This is one whole, as they call it, a, a, a bureau. I think here at Printing Pure Portal, we're quite proud because yes, we work with James here right from doing test prototypes for him, um, you know, when he was a small office. So yes, we sold him his first printer, and that was a big commitment from him. Um, but we gave him the support, we gave him the confidence that we could keep supporting him. And yes, here we are, probably, you know, best part of 18 months later, we've now got the first bureau in the UK with two HP printers. And then as soon as you can realize the potential of what those printers can bring, you're absolutely spot on. We then sold the whole dimension workflow and James is really adding some value to his products now. He's some entrepreneur, isn't he? He's a clever man. Um, you know, we had to encourage him to make that right decision with us to make those baby steps for his first printer. Um, but yeah, I, he's gonna go far.